All right, so maybe I have a little bit of a problem. Oh, my car just turned off. Uh, shooting on the RX100 uh, Mark 7 Sony, and I'm realizing that maybe I have a little bit of a problem. So not only do I find myself wanting to shoot with this camera, but I also find myself wanting to shoot with uh, with the GH5, with the GH4, with the SL1, with the Canon M50, uh, with the Canon R, with the Canon RP, with the Canon 5D Mark IV, with the Canon 1DX Mark II, 1DX Mark III. Uh, I find myself wanting to use the Sigma lenses, the Rokinen lenses, the, uh, you know, any little lens or any little camera that I can uh, I can find so maybe I have a camera addiction I'm realizing that as I'm speaking uh, a lot of this is making well I don't want to say addiction addiction is something that sounds like you know it's, it's something hard to control uh, maybe I've got a new uh, expensive interest we're gonna call it expensive interest so I did not, I didn't think that, uh, I, I actually, maybe it's a, you know, maybe it's a narcissistic side of me, or maybe I, maybe I'm not narcissistic, but maybe I'm just a, a, um, an appreciator of the arts. So heading off to the gym and I thought I'd put a quick video to, uh, to talk about that. Cause I realized in that, that while I'm on YouTube, I'm looking at kind of everyone's uh, everyone's setup, whether that be a vlogging setup, whether that be like a gaming setup. For me, is that's so fascinating. I, I think it's so cool, cool that people find their own ways to to do different things, to work with what they got. And I'm literally working with this camera right now. It's maybe not the the the, the sharpest, or maybe not the best camera around. Well, I, I, I'm not gonna downplay the camera, but maybe it's not the um, the all arounder. Or the all-arounder uh, or maybe there is an all-arounder maybe there isn't an all-arounder but what I'm saying is that that ever since I started YouTube one of my fascinations was basically on how people set up their videos how people set up their shots how people set up their um, their uh, their living room everything from the setup everything from the lighting so you know and I think the one thing ever since using cameras that I'm realizing at the very least is that um, is that that it, you, you're starting to see it from kind of direct the director's view, and I'm realizing that a lot of it. I'm, I I don't spend too much time shooting because I don't want to lose uh, the interest as a fan. I think when you start recording and when you start doing things professionally or just things for art, we'll call it art. I think whenever you start doing art or doing something that that might be sold somewhere or seen by someone you you start looking at it as a, at at the vantage point of of the the, the receiver the, the the audience and you see it from the from the director's standpoint and i think what i've been watching a lot of movies i'm like man i'm really curious on how he got that scene or how he got that this scene that scene so um i try not to film every single day because i just want to appreciate uh, a good movie i want to appreciate a good video and that's my video for this morning guys i've got a couple more to do but um Stay tuned, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.